The 11th Movite Many and Financial Inclusion Summit 2020 began in Yangon on Tuesday. The summit highlights the topics on digital payments, government and industrial player collaboration, and emerging technologies in line with the financial inclusion roadmap. The two-day summit also focused on improving financial literacy and industrial collaboration. The whole objective of this summit is to uh, look at what are the business models you know that will ensure financial inclusion um, is fully uh, sustainable yeah so so what we are trying to do is to bring the stakeholders together um, not just the government departments but also the industry players you know to discuss and look at the roadmaps you know that are so necessary to uh, develop financial inclusion by 2023 Myanmar aims to increase formal financial inclusion for farmers from 52% to 60% and for employed individuals from 51% to 60%. The topics of this summit are really interesting and the stakeholders will discuss rapid changing landscape of Myanmar banking, digital economy, future digital payments, financial literacy awareness, financial challenges and many more. Financial inclusion is essential for economic growth of emerging markets from developing countries like Myanmar, where implementation of digital finance systems could increase GDPs of all emerging economies by 6% or a total of $3.7 trillion by 2025. General Sunil Mejong, financial inclusion. Today, I mainly discuss about the financial inclusion. It is a roadmap which is expected to focus on giving low-income individuals and MSMEs access to safe, reliable, convenient and affordable financial services. Stakeholders from mobile money and finance industry, including representatives from financial, regulatory department and the Ministry of Planning, Finance and Industry, Central Bank of Myanmar, private banks, payment processing companies, experts from financial institutions, and many more attended the summit.